Now, one of the reasons that I want to try specifically to off-road one of these roads is because TT is coming up and I am marshalling during practice week at Windy Corner. Now, I now work down the south of the island, so actually getting back to Windy Corner before the roads close and before I can actually get to meet the convoy after the roads close you can get up to Windy Corner during the roads while the roads are open but the mountain road closes earlier than the rest of the circuit um, and if you can't get up to Windy Corner before they close then there's actually a convoy that meets at either Cregney Bar or uh, Ramsey that takes you up across the mountain to your relevant marshalling spots. Now, I've got a fear that I might not be able to get back to even from where I work because I won't be able to leave until half past five until I, I don't think I'll get back before the roads close and I might even miss the convoy. So, what I need to know is if I can actually get my Harley up the track that goes from, well, you'll see it, the track that I'm going to try now. Um, if I can get that one up, then there's no problem because I can always get up there via that route. Uh, but obviously if I can't do it, then either I need to try and leave work earlier, which probably, you'd think that was a sensible option, but I probably can't. Uh, or I don't marshal, and I really want to be able to marshal. So um, this isn't the, uh, although this road is really rubbish with lots of gravel, um, this isn't the road, this isn't the lane. And this is clearly bad enough. Now, this lane that I'm heading towards does take you up to Windy Corner. But from the research I've done, I think this is it here, uh, the research I've done, the first part is going to be the most difficult. But once you get up over a certain level, then it's a lot better. Um, so we'll see. I mean, that's pretty rough. And it's actually quite steep. But, you know me, I am stupid. And I will try things. And at worst case scenario, hopefully, I'll be able to turn around. <clears throat> I am a little bit um, sceptical scared but sometimes you've just got to put your life in your own hands and give these things a try
Well, I've got to the first gate. I think there's one more gate. <laughs> oh shit, nearly fell over. <sighs> right. Next bit. So, I know I've got up this far so I know I can get back down. And like I say, I think going down would actually be easier than going up. Camera's still recording, that's a good thing. That bit wasn't fun. This bit doesn't look fun either. I think if I go over this bit, I'm going to be all right. Oh shit! <laughs> oh dear. Ah, there we go. I got my feet back on the pegs. Oh. Ah, holy crap. I did grind out a couple of times there, but uh, uh, uh. oh shit, shit! Oh, one more gate. So, 
basically so far I think I've done the most difficult bit um, albeit my god am I hot You bastard! Right, uh, I think, albeit it's still rough stuff, I think I've done the worst of it. Uh. Maybe I was wrong. Jesus. Oh, God, I'm unfit. <laughs> oh. And what have I learned from this? I don't think I'm going to try that during TT week. I know I can do it. But, fucking hell. But, I was told I couldn't do it. And I have done it. See, I think now this could be a good place to try using the drone as follow me because of the valley. So I'm going to park up here, let the bike cool down a little bit and have a rest. Oh. Nice view, if nothing else.
Yeah. I've seen many bikes come up this track, but never a Harley Davidson. I've done it from start to finish. Yeah. It's tough at the bottom, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you got to try him, yeah. yeah. See ya. There, I did it.